Once again, Ziko Mokwambi. Thank you very much for the kind words. You unfortunately cannot make it because you are speaking in Chewa and speaking in Sinyanja. It's the same language, only that there are different dialects. <laughs> President Hifike Punye Pohamba greeted and exchanged few words with outgoing Malawian High Commissioner Stella Ndau in Sinyanza, one of Malawi's local languages. There is very little currently happening between Malawi and Namibia, apart from the interactions at SADC level. As a landlocked country, President Pohamba wants Malawi to acquire a dry port in Namibia. Those Malawi goods that are coming from Europe, particularly Europe and North America, uh, the port of Wolves Bay is going to be more nearer than the ports of South Africa and uh, perhaps the port of Mozambique because you have it to the vessels from Europe have to go to the bottom of Africa in order to come up again. The outgoing High Commissioner congratulated Namibia for the peaceful general elections last year, saying Malawi will be represented at the inauguration of the new Namibian president and the independent silver jubilee in March. The term for Malawian diplomats is three years, but Ndau is recalled after serving two years only. She was posted under the presidency of former President Joyce Banda. We asked her if the change in presidency in her country has anything to do with her recall. No, no. You know, the exigencies of the service. You can, once you are a diplomat, you can be recalled at any time. Yeah. I'm heading back home. Um, there are some opportunities that have been, you know, um, been assigned for me. But um, I will explore all those opportunities. But otherwise, um, I'm a teacher by profession. I'm an university lecturer professor. So I might go back to my work. She was a non-resident high commissioner based in Pretoria, South Africa. Donateni Shidudu, NBC News, State House.